What's going on guys, I'm in Advantage and welcome back to another NHL 23 video. Today, we're counting down the best goalies for all price ranges in NHL 23. Without any further ado, let's get right on into it. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me which goalies to use. I want to first start before we get into any of this. In my opinion, a goalie is not going to bail you out totally. However, this year goalies are really good so you want to make sure that you have at least somebody that's adequate between the pipes. Our first category is under 5,000 coins. I wouldn't go and spend an arm and a leg on a goalie, of, unless of course you can afford it. Coming in at number three is John Gibson, six foot two, 207 pounds. Some of the key stats we wanna look at here are his speed, which is 83. We want low aggression conversely. So that's 68, which is nice and low. And he also has dialed in again, probably not gonna activate that. But nonetheless, six foot two, 207 pounds, fairly quick. And for under 5,000 coins, pretty good bang for your buck. Coming in right around 5,000 coins as well as my boy Mark Andre Fleury, six foot two, 185 pounds. So decent size, very similar to Gibson in his speed and some of the other key attributes that we want to take a look at here. Also low aggression at 69, makes him a viable option between the net. Also at 5,000 coins is the six foot three, 216 pound goaltender Carey Price. Now, for some reason, Carey Price always seems to just play better in game than what his stats indicate. So for me, he's the best goalie money could buy for under 5,000 coins. Moving on to our next category between 5,000 and 25,000 coins, we have this six foot four, 207 pound tendy, Connor Hellebuck. His stats are a bit boosted than what we've seen previously. He's going for about 12,000 coins right now in the auction house. At six foot four, it makes for a nice presence in between the pipes. I think he's a pretty good goaltender, but there's better options in this category. Right around 11,000 coins is this six foot four tender, Thatcher Demko. He does have pretty good stats here as well. As you can see, we're starting to move up in the category a little bit. He's going for about 10,500 to 11,000 coins. He's a pretty good buy, but in my opinion, there's one other goaltender that I've had a lot of success with in this category who's starting for me in between the net. Coming in number one in this category is Jacob Markstrom. Now, when I first started recording this, he was going for about 25,000 coins. He was just on the cusp. Right now, he's going for about 30,000. In my opinion, he is the best goaltender in the game for a few different reasons. First off, he's six foot six, 205 pounds. He's huge back there. In addition to that, I love his synergy at workhorse. In the early stages of the game, it's important that each player in your lineup has a synergy that you're gonna be utilizing. And workhorse is one that I do have activated on my team. Now, I played quite a bit of games online. For me, he served me a lot better than Vasilevsky. So if you are going to spend coins on a goaltender, this is the guy. Coming in right around 30,000 coins is Igor Shesterkin, six foot one, 183. My opinion, post to post is not as necessary as it once was in NHL 22. And this year, five ability points for the superstar ability means that it's gonna be a whopping 10 points for his own ability that a goaltender has post to post on. So I wouldn't activate that. In my opinion, it's not worth it, especially when our ability point limit is only at 40 as we stand. And although Igor is a great goaltender in real life, at six foot one versus Markstrom six foot six, I feel that Markstrom is a better option in NHL 23. Lastly, the most expensive goalie that money can buy is Andre Vasilevsky, six foot three, 225 pounds. Now I did use him for a while. I felt that his speed was pretty good, but Markstrom has just played better for me. However, if you want to try him out, I would play 10 to 15 games with each goaltender, see who does best, and that should be your starting goaltender until there's more upgrades available. That's it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and click like. It greatly helps me out, and I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want to see more of these countdowns and more NHL 23 content, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. Again, I'm Man Advantage, and I'll see you guys next time.